Hi everybody, hope you're doing well today. I wanna to ask you a question. How is the joy quotient in your life? Uh, it may be running on empty a little bit with all the frustrations that we have and things that we can't control, uh, things that are happening in our culture and society that, that just drive us crazy. It can rob us of joy. So I've got to ask you again, what is the joy quotient in your life today? Psalm 51 talks about that. David, as many of you know, had committed adultery and sent Bathsheba's husband Uriah to the front line so that he would be killed. And that's exactly what happened. And so then he tried to cover it up and make excuses and just kind of ignore it. And the prophet Nathan came to David, sent by God, and told him, you've messed up. And so David wrote as a result of that Psalm 51. I'd encourage you to read it. But one of the things it says in Psalm 51, which is so powerful to me, is restore unto me the joy of your salvation the joy of your salvation. If your joy quotient is running low today, think about this. Think about that. The fact that we have sinned and broken God's laws and yet God in his amazing mercy and grace dispatched Jesus to this world to save us. And because he saved us through his death and resurrection, we are children of God, destined for heaven, pardoned of our sin, at peace with our Father. All of this brings us great and abundant joy when we think about that. Uh, this, the hymnist has said it so well. When I think that God, his son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on that cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art. We have an amazing, astounding, wonderful, incredible God who saved us through his son. And as a result of that, you can find joy today. No matter what you're facing, no matter what burdens you're carrying, there is joy in Christ Jesus. I, I love what the, the scriptures say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. You're running out of strength? You're running on empty? Think about what God has done for you through Jesus Christ and have your joy restored. Have a great day in Jesus.